Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a clip about Grub and the commands that we can use in Grub command line to investigate or to just uh, access you know the system files, some of the files and what we can do if we cannot boot uh, into the system in a Linux box of course so I've got here a Linux box which I have cloned from another virtual box of mine I uh, just cloned it so I can wreck this uh, completely if I wreck it um, so let me just actually um, boots it so it will boot and it will come to this display and here I just hit space so it stops doesn't go further but I could just hit C or E E for editing the command lines that um, grub runs itself so you can see at the end it's init RD for RAM FS and before that for the kernel those are the last lines and uh, you've got the set root etc and then insert modules at the beginning so I'll hit escape go back there say and there is a uh, there is a command line for grub for those who might not have noticed this before um, so quite a few commands you can run in there but one of the things you can do is ls and see the disks and if you want to see the volumes you need to actually insert module lvm so lvm is lvm module is inserted so you can see the volumes my volume is rhel underscore my rhel dash root and dash swap so if I cat um, my boot device or my boot slice so which one is my boot slice I can guess it is HD0 MS-1 or I can search for grub grub2 slash grub cfg actually it's not search it's search file so that's why it didn't come back with anything but uh, yeah you need to do that slash as well otherwise it won't find it so it it says it's HD0 MS-1 as I guessed and um, we can here you need to it's got a bit of bash feature in it so you can hit tab and then if it is the only one it's gonna populate it otherwise it's gonna show the options and then like this one again and here grub2 grub.cfg and it shows the grub cfg contents now um, now because I inserted the module LVM before I can do it again it doesn't matter um, I can cat LVM root slash etc that's my file system and say password for example or I can go back and search for a uh, cat for FS tab etc so now if I go back here and then with escape and then E so what I want to do I want to actually run these two manually and if you look at these Linux line, the, the Linux line, you go at the end. It's uh, it's the locale is defined, and it also says quiet. 
We're not gonna. We are gonna do all of that. What we are gonna do? I'm gonna do just a, just a basic kernel and the device mapper to my volume, the root volume, and then um, and then also the RAMFS. So escape C. Now, what I will do, I will actually set root as well. So if I go back there and then E, there is a couple of insert modules, but then there is set root. So what does do, uh, what that does is actually in here when it says slash, it takes it from there rather than from you know uh, you know you have to say the whole thing otherwise. So see set root equal to HT zero one I just do that and then Linux 16 because my machine has got Linux 16 and it's a 16 re real 16 bit mode uh, so best to use it some machines don't have it then you have to just type Linux 16 now slash root when I do this root it's gonna give me what's in this slash root which is the boot file system uh, and a boot file system what I'm actually looking for is the VM lens stuff and that's from my memory that's the one and then set root equal to let me just check the format once again because uh, I've got this snapshot here of off the real thing. Okay, not set root, just root is equal to device mapper and the volume not set root. So let's go back to there and then say root equal device mapper. Uh, you need to be very careful here because if you make any mistake it's not gonna be um, think it was my hierarchy yeah, that's why I have to be very careful RHEL my hierarchy RHEL otherwise it will be a problem RHEL my RHEL dash root I hope I've got it right the rest I'm not going to do it therefore just do this so okay hopefully it did it the next one is in it rd16 and here again slash in it r ramfs uh, that one and that one so dot img is also important so uh, let me check one more time the, the format is that so that way we are not gonna run into problems now I can boot it so uh, we have done everything one by one and everything went okay uh, no problems so we just do a boot it's gonna be very verbose because the quiet mode is uh, the quiet directive is not added to the Linux 16 line and that's going to be showing a lot of things and normally you don't see these because um, because of because of this quiet that quiet thing quiet directive and it's gonna boot it's gonna take a while but it's gonna come come and boot the system um, so so far there is no wrecking but what I'm going to do after this in another clip perhaps I'm going to wreck the grub package and reinstall it uh, 
yeah so we just keep it in a different clip to make the clips not too long uh, thank you very much for watching if you like you can subscribe I'm going to do more and more of this clip as time permits have a great time